Welcome. Today we're going to talk about nine plugins that I think help writers in doing their job from organization uh, at the beginning, kind of getting through your research, figuring out what connects, what doesn't connect, um, all the way almost up to publishing because that's actually where I think Obsidian fails. Uh, so buckle up, we'll do that. Before we do it though, we're actually going to talk about a couple ways to support the channel. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, or take one of my courses, curtismichael.ca slash education. Now you can buckle up and we'll start talking about those nine plugins. So there's three plugins that I really think up the quality of life for writers uh, in their craft. The first one is the focus mode plugin uh, typewriter scroll. And I've actually done a whole video on all the different focus mode plugins already, so I'll link to that up above. But typewriter scroll allows you to have the line that you're typing stay you know, exactly where you want it to be in the middle of the screen. And the Zen mode in typewriter scroll actually fades the text above and below so you can just focus on the writing you have right there for you. Now, for those of us writers who struggle sometimes with actually getting the job of writing, there is the Word Sprint plugin. It's kind of similar to a feature in Scrivener that would let you kind of track how many words you have in a document, how many words are overall, how many words you've done this session. But this one is combines it with a Pomodoro timer. It actually will give you warnings when you haven't been writing long enough, when you've actually you know stopped writing for, I think it's 30 seconds to start, and this is customizable. It'll give you a warning, and it'll give you another warning at 60 seconds. I was like, keep on writing. And it gives you a timer and actually tracks your word count so that you can keep keep going, keep writing, and stay motivated to do that. And it gives you overall stats. The big place I think it falls down is it gives you stats for your entire vault. So if you have one vault for a book, great. But if it involves research and other stuff, then your overall stats for word count for the whole project actually uh, is interfered with because of the WordSprint plugin looked at the whole vault and there's no project system where you can say this folder only is my word count. Finally, for those of us writers who deal in page counts, the page count plugin is going to be beneficial to you. It's going to help you see how many pages this writing is so that you can hit your page count. It's customizable. You can change the number of words that count for a page. So it, you know, you can set your own limit what you need for a, say, a, you know, paperback book or a hardcover book, or if you have a page count for anything else, even for academic writing for students, if you have a certain page count you have to hit, this will help you do that. Next up, we'll talk about a few plugins for early stage projects when you're still trying to combine your research. The two I love are Smart Random Notes and Graph Analysis. So I use Smart Random Notes to generate random notes in a smart way. I can exclude certain folders. I can include certain folders. I can get it to look not at things that have tag note in it. I can just get it to do what I want. And then when I have that actually programmed to a workspace along with the search, I can hit the Random Note plugin uh, and it'll just randomly bring up a note that matches the search criteria uh, that I provided for it. So that helps me make more connections as I'm doing research. And this way you could even have a workspace that's limited to a specific project, a specific search criteria, and then you could only be looking at notes that really hit your specific project. If you want to know more about workspaces specifically and how I've actually saved them, how I use them, there'll be a video linked up above and below for you to look at because I did a whole video just on workspaces. Now graph analysis, it shows up in your right hand sidebar by default and it gives you different ways to look at what connections are made in your vault that you may not see. So it does some heuristics, some AI to decide what is related in notes that you may not have seen. That's may not directly related. You haven't actually created the link. It's not, un, it's not an unlinked mention. It's not something that is the same words. It's actually just doing like a little bit broader search to say what relates here and what could you see, could you actually bring into your research that you didn't know about later. I've done a video about making connections as well, which will be linked up above and down below. Now to start putting some structure into your project, I like the long form plugin. If you're just kind of collecting ideas, your own thoughts, you're taking you know, other people's thoughts, other research you've done and starting to write your own thoughts into it, the long form plugin can help you really bring that into your own structure. Kind of again, kind of reminds me of Scrivener in this way where I can just start creating different things and you can even do some comp compilation there, compiling it into drafts as you go forward. Though I don't think long form is ready for producing your book yet. Another good plugin if you're stuck, you know, you've got some ideas, but you're not really writing yet is the incremental writing plugin. You can use this plugin to set separate cues so that you can look at your cue for a specific project and just say, bring up the next available note in that, the next one I need to work on, write on, it'll just bring up a note for you. And then it actually will spread them out for you as you go. It, you can use some heuristics for that. And then it will just help you prompt for writing. When you should be writing, but you're not sure where to start, it can just bring up different notes for you to look at, to start writing for that sp particular section. I've done, again, I've done a whole video on incremental writing, which I'll link up above and below. Now, once I've moved past the long form, once I've really starting to see the structure of what my book will be, where my ideas are kind of coalescing, I actually will open up the Kanban plugin. Now, there's actually two of them that do similar things. There's Kanban for Obsidian and there's Cardboard for Obsidian. I've never used Cardboard, 
but I'll link that below as well in the show notes so you can find that if you'd like to try that one as well. That is one I'll try in the future. So usually I have columns that say first draft, second draft, third draft, and ready. And ready in this case usually means for me that it is ready to go into uh, Ulysses for final formatting, into like wider editing, you know, out to Google Docs maybe so that I can have some comments on it from readers, from editors, stuff like that. It's not actually finished, but it is ready. If I'm turning this script or something into a video, then I'll actually have recording and editing columns as well in the Kanban plugin. I use the Kanban plugin for really managing all of my YouTube content as well. Now, the part where I really think, unfortunately, Obsidian falls down is in the finishing stages when you really want to push this out to a book, to a PDF, to an EPUB, to a Mobi file, to anything like that. It doesn't really do a great job. There are some tools out there that can sort of do it with Obsidian, but I really think that getting into a tool like Vellum and getting it into Scrivener or Ulysses, something else, and then actually ending up in Vellum on Mac OS for finishing is a much better option. That's one thing I'd love to see for writers. I'd love to see more export options so that we didn't even need Vellum because it is fairly pricey if you're just buying it for the first time. I own it, so I just use it, but it is kind of pricey if you're trying to do it. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, those are nine plugins I really think are instrumental for writers to really hone their craft, to build a solid writing practice, to build a solid book so that they can produce content for everyone out of their research notes. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. But turn off your notifications. You actually don't even want them. It just helps me if you hit the bell. That's it. You should be writing. Uh, otherwise, you can become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, or you can take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. If you're watching this, you're probably interested in my Obsidian course or my Getting Started with Settle Casting course. Have an excellent day.